Hello there, this is the Gamer Nerd, and today is going to be a commentary on episode 87 of the, the 30 Days of Halloween Challenge. Believe me, we are on day 18 as this is being recorded. So, I'm doing a little bit of an intro for the, um, 30 days of Halloween challenge explaining what edits were going to be made. Like for example, Speedy and Progress DOS, which takes if you haven't seen my other videos, it takes an abs absurdly long amount of time if you get a file system with lots of files and folders in it and like a whole slew of Easter eggs to find, I should say. Pretty much what you're going to be expecting from uh, Progress Bar 95, which is quite a lot actually. It's funny to see how Progress Bar 95 has expanded from being just a simple toy box app to a full on game with tons of features and what have you. But still, a lot of work went into this. A lot of work went into this episode. Now, my intention with the edit, when it came to the unrelated stuff, was cut out the boring parts, but keeping the good bits. As I explained in the title, like, come up when it, can, when it comes to, like, the call of my colleague and whatnot. And we'll get to that when we come to that. So, yeah, really. It's all about what you do to make a good product. And, like, having a very, very good product is one of the most important things you can do for say anything like a movie or a TV show or what have you. Now if you notice the um, counters on the um, top and bottom of your screen, that's the counter I put in for the um, day that you're on at the bottom and the days left in the, the upcoming day at the top. That's on the face cam. Now, what you're going to be seeing coming in just a moment will be like a pretty old version of the counter. I did like one final redesign and that was kind of necessary, so, yeah. Well, at least you can say, um, this challenge has certainly gotten a lot going on. And I do mean it. It's really got a lot going on. Progress DOS, um, Uh, let's see what else. Progress Ball. The Filer. If you're on Progress, which is like Borrow with Territory. Or Hack Gresh if you're playing the Combined System. I really like to see more operating systems. Besides the big three, like the Progress Computer, in Progress, and the, uh, well, Hack Crash, if you count the combined system, maybe have some sort of Linux system in there. Maybe that might help. 
Anyhow. So, progress for 11. Starting up. Looking pretty good. Let me see if I get benefiting. Do that every time I start the system. And it depends on what day I started up. Oh, been in a nightmare already. I, uh, I can obviously say that it's rare for Ben to have a nightmare in the very beginning of an episode. Usually it happens during the middle of an episode. Um, and it depends on what I'm doing in, in that part of the episode. To be honest with you. Well, here I am in progress DOS getting the um, color code bonus. It's just pretty good. Now, I will admit, some of this really should have been fast forwarded. So this is like probably the the only part that I actually forgot to fast forward, you know? The fast forwarding part comes a bit later on. Okay. And and this is probably where it's going to be coming in. Okay. Reading the read me files. Looking for, um, like, you know, the Latin file. Sometimes you'll get empty directories. Sometimes you'll get something useful. Oh, and here's the Latin file. This is where I start fast forwarding. Okay. And at this point, I was waiting to find my place in the file. And I do mean that I often lose my place in my progress file, so I have to use a screenshot feature to um, save where I am so I can come back to it. Okay, that's going to be quite a lot of fast forwarding. And if you see lots of messages appear on the screen at a very quick rate in some Steam overlay notifications, they will appear very quickly it's because of the fast forwarding.
And yes, the fast forwarding game is pretty helpful when it comes to progress stuff. Far along we are, and man, that has got to be some some of the best fast forwarding I've ever done. And I really do mean that. I can admit to having to do a lot of fast forwarding for the. Um, edit for this video. Okay, so wonder how that will that would go. Oh, and there's the mailbox. And the first message after the welcome message was spam. Okay. And this is right, right around the time I realized that talking to the question mark, question mark guy was actually pretty helpful because now that I know which option to select this time around, like the one with the double question mark, I'll do well this time around and get all the bonus points. And here I'm feeding Ben multiple spams. And I to say this is actually pretty good. We plot checking emails and getting a whole ton of them. And yes, most of it was spam. And some of it was the dog giving me a bonus. And also some of it was um, due to looking for things. That is quite a lot, to be honest. I have never, ever gotten this much mail to respond to. And, well, that was a load of email spam. If you see emails from things like Spammer, Gary Spammer, or Prince Clippy, and yes, my video was interrupted by a call, I didn't show the whole thing, but what is in there is in regards to this call is pretty interesting. And I know it's off topic, but uh, yeah, it's kind of part of the video. 
Well, par for the course is good to see you at any rate. And full disclosure, like the disclaimer says at the beginning, I've had to edit this video for time reasons. Because, yeah, they put a little Tron reference there called In the Line. That's what people say in Tron when they want to end the call. If, uh, I mean, some of the younger generation may not get that reference, but still. Tron is actually a pretty cool movie. Go check it out. Okay. Wait. The IT theme wasn't spam. I was supposed to just remove that. Oh, it was spam, but you can't mark it as such. Okay. Okay. So here I am checking my email. Right, this is some... There's a lot of email checking going on. When you see an award in an email, like a thousand points, five hundred points or something, just click on the award and you'll get your points. It'd be cool if there were captions that weren't point related, but still gave you rewards for doing doing a good job that weren't in point form. Like for example, more points on the next normal difficulty challenge, or point multiplier for um, for the next for the next round you select your difficulty in maybe something like that just wondering wow that was a lot of email the max I think it can hold is like 17 but you'll you'll still get the uh, emails. They just won't be counted until you get rid of some older emails. Okay. This is where I get those bonuses everyone's been talking about. And, well, safe to say, it's pretty awesome getting points for checking your mailbox. Okay, so. I'm getting a bunch of points here, so. That's pretty good. Right.
I'm actually getting close to clearing the backlog of next events. I know this is not truly Okay. Now I got my emails cleared up. We can oh there's a bug, so I equip that. And then go ahead and quickly start. And this is where I wait for something like hack crash to appear, something like that. That is pretty cool. Now, Hackrush appears immediately on the first boot up after you unlock Bar OS 12, if anyone doesn't know that. And I'm assuming there's a lot of people in my comments that don't know this crucial tip. And this is where more fast forwarding occurs. And I do mean a lot more fast forward. Because progress doesn't just have a um, filer, it also has terminus if you're using the later systems. And I do mean that. It has quite a bunch of systems. Okay, checking the email, and this is where I would get my bonuses. Okay. So the urgent messages will give you 250 points. Most messages will give you like 500 points. And the ones from boss where you're working on the project will give you a thousand points if you do them enough time. So yeah. And this way I had to PB jams by accident. I forget that the puzzles are already been solved. And here we check out my goals for the day. And there it is. There's more email coming in. You know, I I'm advocating I'm kind of needing a screen in your future for this game. What if someone has low vision acuity or is blind and wants to play progress bar 95? They can't. Unless you have a screen reader function in there. Oh, and this is pretty lucky because I got the perfectionist bonus. Getting the green is kind of rare. And pretty much a luck based occurrence. In fact, most of pinballs is based on luck, but I still like it. At least in, in the case of Progress Ball and like specifically Chance Time for Mario Party 4, which is based on pinball. It's, it's 
if you can't tell, this is the only pinball I actively would hate to see. And you might see some actual gameplay footage in a bit, but it's pretty lengthy. I still have to do quite a bit of mail. Seems like I encounter a lot of glitches in this game, don't I? Why they have a confetti mode in Progress Bar 11, I do not have any clue. And progress bar 1x is the prototype for that mode. The segments coming from all sides of the screen. Come on, not. I can safely say nobody likes the progress bar 1x operating system. Though it didn't replace it, they pretty much just added Progress Bar 11 to it. And, well, that was pretty interesting. I wonder what those two lock, lock icons are for, because they must be unlocked at some point in the future. Being said though, man, I was so close to being in green. Now, there's one thing is that at least with skill with the flipper, if you can aim the ball in the general direction of where you want to go. However, with the um, progress bar 95, you can also hit the progress bar. Hit the ball at the progress bar to um, get it to where you generally want to go. Whereas with Mario Party 4's chance time, once you plunge the ball, the game rips away control from you.
All right, that challenge completed. For every challenge you complete, it's 5,000 points. I'm sorry, I seem to be repeating myself an awful lot here. And yeah, I was idling quite a bit on the um, selection screen, so... Yeah. Pretty awkward, isn't it? Oh, really? Great. Maybe the October update would probably add a gamepad control or something like that. I don't know why we would need that, but since most of us don't use gamepads in playing Progress 495, because it's not realistic to the whole. PC simulation type of thing. Oh, you did pretty good. Okay. What next? I think that may be unless I'm mistaken. Then again, I could be. So who knows? Maybe it feels like an hour long TV show at this point. That's because it is an hour long TV show. How I got the end and yang, I don't know. Come on. Looks like I got the mail, but I decided to ignore it. And this is where I start talking about Animal Crossing Direct. But here, I try to keep all the good stuff. Because most, most of it was uh, just rough and filler and, and a quick explanation on why I don't watch directs. I never watch directs because um, they build up hype and leave you disappointed afterwards. That's the main reason. Yeah. And some directs are just like, why Nintendo are you still doing this? Why are they still doing this? Like, like I've been disappointed in Animal Crossing updates before, and it soured my experience in Animal Crossing so much. Yeah, the updates were more disappointing than anything to get excited over. 
but then again, it, I may be wrong, who knows. But after all the disappointing updates I've seen, I have little to no reason to trust Nintendo when they say that update is big. I mean, they better really prove their worth. I mean, really. Okay. And why this is still going on, I don't know. But maybe it would add something. But then again, it could be wrong. Who knows? Who knows what you can expect from this? I know I don't know. At any rate. Then I did the, the I mean then I mentioned that the mini games like uh, like NES ROMs appeared in Animal Crossing. Then we got mini games with Animal Crossing New Leaf with the Welcome Amiibo update. And now they're jipping us the mini games again? I mean, really? Can you blame me for feeling disappointed? Can you really blame me for feeling disappointed by the... Can you blame me for feeling disappointed about the Direct? I mean, the latest one, the only thing I was really excited for was the, was seeing Brewster again and being able to go to work. The rest was just filler content, at least in my opinion. And to be honest, I don't know why they designed it. Animal Crossing New Horizons to be creative outlet first and um, life sim second because because I I bet when I when I hear someone say I thought Animal Crossing was a life sim and then you can say at what point it was buddy. At one point it was. Yeah. You can hardly blame me for such a thing happening. But yeah. That's just... How do you even screw that up? It is beyond unfathomable. What they, what they did to Animal Crossing with New Horizons. They did Animal Crossing dirty that day. Anyway. Okay. I saw two bugs. It's rare for the bugs to actually appear. But once you notice them and click on them, it's like a visual pun. You're literally finding and reporting bugs in your system. And they look like ladybugs too. Don't get me wrong, ladybugs are cute, but Really? I thought bugs 
to be represented by a one and zero, one zero causing a hole on the screen. An example of this happens in later videos, but yeah. For the record, it's like, wow. I'm kind of amazed that they do this, frankly. And yes. Progress for has a mailbox. I was kind of surprised when they added that feature in. Because for a while, we didn't have a mailbox of any kind. Okay, so Progress Ball is actually a pretty good game mode. You want to know why it's a good game mode? You're playing pinball of all things. And yes, pinball is a, the best game mode out there. One of the best game modes out there. Next to the um, normal game mode. And uh, what other game modes out there? Right out there? That Matrix game mode, that, is, that, that was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All you have to do to unlock it is get Pro. Both in the mobile version and in the... Um, in the PC version, I'm trying to say. I think I did pretty good though. Man. This goes for quite a while. So, how many things have happened before, like, with progress for an exile? Well, I got the PC version in, like, um, November of 2020. So, I've had, like, um, version... 0 0.5, I believe. And now we're on version 0 0.8. And I'm not sure when the game was first released, but I think it was released in 2019, I believe. The year before the pandemic hit. And I got this on November 2020. So we've had progress for 95. So we've had progress for 95 for around a year. So, on November 25th, 2021, my copy of Progress Bar 95 on the PC will be around a year old, and the game itself will be around two years old.
I even made a video celebrating progress for his birthday. Okay. Oh, really? I definitely hate getting blue screened. It is actually the most annoying thing you could ever have happen in terms of a video game. Again, boy, I do keep getting blue screened a lot, at least in game. In real life, not so much like Why did I click on the email again? And then I encounter a video driver error. Which is not good if you're colorblind. Alright. Here we go. Doing pretty good. And this is where I'm planning on wrapping things up. And I press the start and go over to progress. What are you doing there? What are you doing? Oh yeah, you have terminus points to get cashed in, so yeah, I can I can quite understand that. That was oddly well timed. Right. And I believe this episode took place on, like, a Friday or something. Oh, great. Another blue screen.
this time I don't even wait for it, I just quickly play. And then um, kind of weird, isn't it? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, that cat always look is pretty cool. Kind of like the Baffles dog cow. I kind of like how back in the days, computer companies didn't take themselves too seriously, you know? I kind of miss those days, to be honest. All right. I think at this point I'll probably wrap up this commentary a bit. And um, let you know that from here on out it will just be you. Uh, the um, regular gameplay like you like you're all used to but we still got about like we're 52 minutes into the uh, video and I put in an outro too so yeah Not gonna be do, doing all that much, so yeah. So Well, well, Apple did make some cool computers, and you could probably see me using one. I probably wouldn't go out to um, own one, I should say. Although I do own something by Apple, and that would be their phones. Yep. This commentary is kind of getting off topic, but I can do.
Ele é tudo pro outro. Eu não sei mais. Right in the middle of the um, middle of the um, I think it was um, the color game mode and progress screen. My dad would probably be calling me. You'll probably see the time jump from 12 p.m. to like 5 something. And if you see do, do that on any of my Friday videos, that means I was out of town for the entire time while I let the progress bar running. Just thought you all should know that. Uh, one last thing to note before I actually end off on this commentary. The reveal is that there, there will probably be an outro coming up in the video. Not sure how long it'll take me to get there because um yeah, this game is really enthralling, to say the least, and I do mean that in a good way. It enthralls the senses, it ensnares the mind with its captivating Windows systems, and it's equally as captivating Mac systems, and the thousands upon thousands of mods created for this thing. I mean, it is just amazing what the modding community can do, given the time, the resources, and the energy to make mods for Progress Bar 95. It's just beyond captivating. And yeah, see the time jump from 12 to 5? That was my out of town time. At any rate, here I am shooting segments, waiting for the the red tin to pop up. fire away those red segments that are pulsating because nobody wants to see those. And there's the red tin. And that was the 15th episode of the 30 Days of Halloween Challenge with commentary. If you like this particular commentary, or if you want me to do more commentary videos, you can subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click the notification bell when you've done so. And yeah, I'll hand it back to Pass Me for the best of this video. Anyway, as I mentioned before, this day is probably going to go through editing before it gets posted. This is the Gamer Nerd. If you liked what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out, everyone. Okay, I'm back with a um, special edit to this commentary.
there is something I forgot to mention about this video, and that is I recorded a special outro along with my um, normal outro, so if you see the annotations pop up on this video, they'll probably be after the special outro is done. So, just letting you know about that. And thank you for your time and your attention to this whole commentary. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell, and share this video with your friends. Okay, with that said, I'm out for real this time. This is the Gamer Nerd, and I will see you next time. Peace out, everyone.